Hi everyone, my name is Matt and I'm a volunteer with Youth Job Center and I chose the topic of this video, finding the right opportunity for you because your next job could have a huge impact on your future jobs down the road. And going deeper into this, I think there's two key factors to consider. One, what is the best job for you? And two, how to actually go about finding those jobs and look for some resources to help you there. So diving right into it. Evaluating your current skills and experiences is the first place to start. You can really look at where you are now. So looking at things like total experience and industry experience, and then even some more tactical things, such as if you've managed people before or any sort of specific educations, certifications, or licenses that you may have. From there, it's important to think down the road, whether it be two, five, or even 10 years, and figure out where you want to be. So this could be something as simple as what industry you want to be in, or if you want to be leading a team, or something more detailed, such as a specialized position, or even something like compensation level. Where do you want to be at that period of time? And it's okay if it's not possible to land your dream job so early. This is definitely something that happens. And I can say confidently that almost all of us are, are always working for the next thing. So this is a really good opportunity to position yourself and take that next step and get you closer to your dream job. So you can look at where you are now and where you want to be and really fill that skills and experience gap with your next opportunity. And this isn't something that you have to advertise to your next employer that, hey, maybe this is a temporary thing and you're just using it as a stepping stone, but it's just something that you can keep to yourself in this process. An example of this is, let's say you were interested in cars and you've been interested in that your whole life and you want to be a mechanic, but maybe you're fresh out of high school, don't have any experience with this. That's okay. You can go join an industry that's, I guess, adjacent to being a mechanic. So you could go work at a car dealership or you could go work at a mechanic's office just in a non-mechanic role. And maybe some of these companies will even pay for you to go back to school and get some of those certifications. So that's an area to look to. So even though you can't get that dream job, you can definitely put yourself on the road to landing that dream job. Once you find that dream job and your next opportunity, it's important to figure out, okay, where can I actually go and get these skills and experience? So we all know there's a wide array of resources that you can leverage, but I chose to group them by proximity to the job. So some of those ones that are close to the job, connections, physically at the location or at job fairs, these are opportunities where you'll actually have face time with people making hiring decisions. So they'll know your name, they'll know your face, and they'll know your story. So they'll remember you when you're looking at applications. And this is different than just kind of dropping a resume on a company website or job board. While those things are necessary and great, it's not as personal as maybe leveraging connections. So try to do a combination of all of these for the best possible outcomes. And one that I want to speak to specifically is the connection. So Friends and family can be a huge help here. For example, let's say you want to work in administration in a hospital, but you don't know anybody there. Maybe you have a friend who's a nurse at that hospital. I'd be willing to bet that that nurse has some connections or has talked to somebody in administration before. Maybe they can hook you up. You can have a little coffee chat with somebody in that department and see if you'd be a good fit or if there's any opportunities. These are just some of the ways I've listed and some of the most common ones, but definitely take into account multiple of these and try to get in front of as many different people as possible, whether it's virtual, depending when you're watching this or when we're all back in person. Thank you for listening to this presentation today, and I wish you all the best of luck in your future careers, and I hope to connect with you at YJC soon. Thanks.